there. Hey, if you've drawn a picture that you really like, or you've got a picture of your favourite pin-up or pop star, and you want to stick it to your wall, but you're not allowed to because of the wallpaper, what you need is a pair of handy grippers, and you can put your picture wherever you like. Come and have a look at this. Cut a piece of card from a cardboard box and place four fingers of one hand down onto the card and then draw around the four fingers. And the idea is to just gently press the pencil between your fingers like that to get the full shape of your fingers. Now, it's very important that you keep your fingers closed but just gently squeeze the pencil in. And it's just the four fingers you want. You don't want to draw the rest of your hand or your thumb. And when you've drawn your four fingers, take your fingers away and turn each of those fingers into a sort of blobby sausage shape just by completing the finger with a curve like that. When you've done that, cut it out. If you find cardboard difficult to cut, you could always wet it round the edges first. And when you've cut it out, you will have something that looks like that, a set of sausage fingers. Then find another piece of your card there, place your fingers over the card, and it's very important that you turn them over face down and place them on the card. And then just use this as a template to draw around to create another set of sausage fingers. And when you take your template away, you have the shape, but you need to complete your fingers, this time by just drawing some straight lines across there like that. Cut those out and you have two sets of sausage fingers and then paint them to suit your own hand. Now I've mixed some white, red and yellow paint here to match my hand and I'm just going to paint one of the fingers here to show you. That's just a case of mixing the paint to suit or match your own fingers. And when you've painted all the fingers on both hands, you'll have something that looks like that. And see what I've done here? I've even picked out the outline in black felt tip pen. And then add on some detail. And you can have some good fun here because it's just a case of copying what's on your own fingers, just the detail of your fingers. You can put on your fingernails like this, just at the fingertips there. And you could even put on some of those creases and cracks that you get in the joints. I'll just put a couple on there. And I'll put on some of those creases at the knuckles. I've probably got more than you because I'm older than you, but there you go. Put those on like that. And the more detail you put on, the better. Look what I've done here. I've even painted some shade around those fingers by mixing my paint slightly darker. And I've done some lighter fingernails. Do both sets of fingers in the same way and you have two sets of hands. Then to turn them into handy grippers, draw around a ruler onto your cardboard box and cut out a strip of cardboard that's the same size as your ruler. Then place that down and place one of the hands on the strip and measure one hand's length along the strip and snip that off. Put that on side because I'll need that. And then another hand's length along the strip like that and snip that off. Get rid of the excess there, we won't need that. So you've got two cardboard strips that are the same length as your hands. And then it's a case of taking some PVA glue and just dabbing a nice thick layer of glue, roughly two centimetres wide at the end of each strip. See that? Roughly two centimetres wide, lots of glue. I've got PVA glue, you can use any strong glue. And then just position that strip and the glue over the back of one of your hands, just in from the knuckle end and press it firmly down into place like that. And just check that you've got it on the knuckle end. Yeah, there's the knuckle end, see that? As opposed to the fingertips and the nails here. And then just press it firmly into place and then leave it to one side to dry. And when it dries, you have a handy gripper that opens at the fingertips and at the nail end. See that? And do that with both of them and you have two handy grippers. And then take the picture that you want to show off and draw around that on your cardboard box, around one of the other sides of your cardboard box. Cut that out so that you have a piece of cardboard that's the same size as the picture you want to show off. Place your picture on top and the great thing about this technique is you don't need to glue your picture down. You just take your handy grippers and you slip one on one side of the picture and one on the other side of the picture and the handy grippers 
grip the picture to the board and look at that. And then you can place your picture and display it wherever you want. Look at that. And the hands grip the picture. Or you could do this. You could tape a piece of string to the back of your cardboard like that and then you could hang it up wherever you want. See that? Nifty little technique, isn't it? Well, what about this? You could cut out a triangle of cardboard, again, from your cardboard box, and just tape it to the back of that piece of cardboard, and then it'll be able to freestand wherever you want. So you don't need to worry about the wallpaper. Try it yourself. Handy grippers and show off your pictures. Hello, it's the head here. What a right, useful, thoroughly practical idea. Now, if you want to make a gripper, just remember to draw around your four fingers onto some card, keeping them closed. Gently push your pencil between them to get the shape of your fingers. Turn each finger into a sausage and then cut this out. Then paint and draw in the hand details. Put some glue at the end of a strip of card and position it on the back of the hand, just in from the knuckles. And if you make another one in the same way, you'll have a right useful pair of handy grippers. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>